Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to add rotating pictures to lock screen on Samsung. I'm using the A20, I've tested on A10e, and I've tested on the um, A21. So all those I know it works on, and a few other of the, of the Samsungs I've heard this will work on too. So this is most likely going to work. So I'm going to show you how you can add rotating pictures to your lock screen. So the, and before we get going, please hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. I put them out every Wednesday and Thursdays. One of those days you'll get them out. I usually get it out by Wednesdays, but Thursdays is the, you'll, you'll get one at least by then. So keep checking back for new videos on how to's. But this one, I'm gonna show you how to add a rotating pictures to your lock screen on Samsung. Now, the way we do that, turn your phone on, get the get it into your screen. Now you're gonna hold your finger on a blank area. Don't hold it on one of the apps, hold it on a blank area of your screen. And then it's gonna bring up this. And then you're gonna look down here, you're looking for the wallpapers app down at the bottom left. And we're gonna tap on that. Okay, now we're in the wallpaper area. So this is where we're looking. Now I wanna do rotating pictures. So I'm gonna to go to my gallery and choose the pictures I want since I think it's cool to have my kids' pictures pop up or whatever pictures I want. So tap on gallery. Now it brings you up to the all main pictures of your phone. I like to go to albums and find one that way. So tap on albums. And then you're going to pick an album. I'm going to pick Instagram because that's I have a lot of pictures on Instagram. So there I am. There's a whole bunch of pictures to choose from. As you can see, it puts a little circle the top left corner of each picture. That's how you select them. So we're going to scroll down. We'll start selecting. There's my kid being a dork. So you're going to tap that one. And it's put, see how it puts it up the top? And then me spying on my children. That's always fun. And then, let's see, we'll scroll down a few other ones. These are my dorky kids. There's another one. And then we'll pick one more. Not my dorky face, but that's okay. <laughs> there's my daughter. And there's some skeleton. Okay, so at the top it shows you, and if you notice, it says you can have up to 15 rotating pictures. So... We only have five, which is plenty to start and show you how to do it. So once you have them chosen, you're going to hit done at the top right. We're going to tap that right there. And then once you tap the top thing, then it's going to bring up the pictures you chose. Now, hold up. There we go. So here are the pictures you've chosen. So right now it's selected on the first one. Let's say, let's select this one. So if this is selected, then if you hold your finger here, you can move it and adjust where the picture is. So I like to have her piece signed in the middle. And so that one's fixed. So you can do that on each one of these. So like if I got this one, actually he's in a perfect spot. Um, here's my kid. So if you want to bring him in the picture more, there you go. And then if you want to zoom in on it a little better, like you can do that. You can tap that little tiny two arrows circle right down the bottom right of the picture. And then it, it brings it forward so you can see it. So you can adjust it this way too. You can see it close up. But I don't usually need that. So you can tap that same circle again and it brings that back down so do that to each of the pictures to adjust how they're set you can't do much except for moving the picture around so you can shift it around like that that's how that's what you want to do with each of the pictures once you have those all set the way you want it actually let me fix this one too while we're at it guys i'm gonna do my big ugly mug no that's not my bag let's keep my kids involved <laughs> keep my ugly mug okay so there you go now you have it all fixed now everybody's set all the pictures are adjusted to where you like them you're going to tap set on lock, lock screen. So tap that. And now it's saving it. And then when it's done saving, it's going to go back to this screen. So now it's complete. Now we want to test it out to see it. So what you want to do is just either hit the power button off, just tap it, and it's going to go away. Now if we turn it back on, there's the lock screens right there. So if we want to put our password in, we can do it that way. Now if you shut it off again, and you turn it back on, a different picture shows up every time you go back in the lock screen, it will show a different one of the pictures you have set up. So every time it shuts off, another picture. Every time it shut off, I like this, another picture. And there we go. That's how easy it is to add rotating pictures to your lock screen. So if you have grandbabies or whatever, oh, that's a good one, um, grandbabies or whatever in, you know, you want to have pictures of them rotating your lock screen, this is how you're going to do it on your Samsung phone. So that's how easy it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like subscribe and notification bell and that's it guys make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching